So today I'm gonna be performing a service on my Honda generator here. It is an EU2000i and I have been using and some would even say abusing this generator over the past several months or years since I bought my off-grid cabin here. I use it all the time and I definitely don't perform the services as frequently as I should. I've done a couple of oil changes, but this is gonna be the first time that I have replaced any of the parts that you're gonna see me replacing today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start up the generator, let it warm up, let that oil get warm so it'll drain. While that warms up, I'm gonna gather all of my tools and supplies that I'll need to perform the service and then I'll shut off the generator and I'll get going with the service. I think it's good and warmed up. Let's open things up and see what we can see in here. All right, let's open up our kit here. Got a spark plug, an outer filter, and an air slash C element. So two filters. Looks like this one goes right here. I'm not sure where this one goes. Might have to look that up. Actually, after opening this up, I think what I'm gonna do is turn it back on, plug in my air compressor, build up some compressed air, and then spray this thing off with some air because it's kind of messy in there. And I wanna get all that dirt, dust, and there's actually chunks of foam board insulation all over that <laughs> from a previous project. So I wanna make sure none of that gets in anywhere that I'm working on. So I'm gonna blow that off first. All right, that's better. Got all that sprayed off, cleaned off. Now let's drain the oil. Just realized I'm gonna have to prop this up on something higher. That's too tall. That's a little bit short. That ought to work. So this doesn't have a drain plug on the bottom. So you just unscrew this cap right here, tip the generator over and everything dumps out. Okay, I've got my gallon jug here of old oil and this, which is too big. Let's see if we can make this work. We'll just tip it like that, huh? What could go wrong? That, that could go wrong. Dang it, slip my grip. Ah, don't lie. That's happened to you before. Quit laughing at me. Also something I forgot to mention, you're gonna wanna turn this dial on the gas cap to the off position so that when you tip the generator over, gas doesn't start spilling out from the top. All right, so now you know how not to do that. All right, let's get this thing cleaned off and ready to refill. All right, well, I got everything cleaned off like nothing ever happened. All the oil is drained out. It's a good thing I had this cardboard here. It also really would have been a mess. All right, let's fill it back up with the new oil. Now for that, I have this funnel. Clean this off really well on the inside so there's none of that old oil left inside there. This thing takes 10W30. All right, here we go. Bottoms up. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on putting oil in here until it starts to spit back out on me, which it hasn't done yet. There it comes. Yeah, I think that's it right there. All right, let's check the dipstick here. And I'm supposed to check without threading it in. And we are above 
that mark on there. So we're good. But once this is all done, I'm gonna run it and then recheck it. It's a little bit above that mark, so it should be good even after I crank it up and let the oil circulate throughout the whole thing. But I think we're good. Well, that was a journey. <laughs> I knew when I was propping that generator up on those logs, I was like, I'm either gonna look like a legend here for not spilling a drop, doing it in this crazy way, or my hand's gonna slip and it's gonna turn into a disaster. Yeah. And it ended up being the latter, so. <laughs> But that is reality. Reality TV, oil change, boom. Now that I got the oil changed, let's see if we can change this filter. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of debris in there. Oh, I see. That is the lower filter. And that's that one. So it's kind of soaked in oil. I wonder if I can just clean this soapy water and reuse that. I bet I can. It's oil soaked on the bottom. But yeah, I ought to be able to reuse both of those. I'm just gonna get in here with this towel. There we go. Get that all cleaned off there. All right, here's my new top filter. It's already soaked in something. So yeah, it's meant to be oily. The hole on this new one is smaller, so I gotta stretch that out a bit. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's get this one. See how this old one had all that crud in there? I'm sure I could clean that off with air and water and soap. But we're gonna put this new one in here and it's just a rectangular prism that just fits right in there. Just like that. Good as new. Oh, that's gonna breathe nice. Much better than before. Okay. There. That's lined up and it's tight. And that's it. I'm happy. Now, last but not least, the spark plug. Now, I don't know this to be true, but my intuition says spark plug is right here on the opposite side because I don't know where else it could be. Here it is. Okay, let's see. There she is in there. Now I need a wrench. All right, I got this special socket here that has a rubber piece on the inside so that when you push down on that spark plug, you find it, boom. It softens the blow. Here's the new one. It softens the blow on that top part right there. So stick my wrench on there. Make sure we're loosening. Yes. Thread it off of there. Oh, it's tight. There it is. <clears throat> All right, here's the old one and here's the new one. NGK CR5HSB, same thing. So let's swap them out. In she goes. It's all about feel here. Feel for the threads. Nice and delicate. And there it is. Cross threading here is the last thing you want to have happen. So you gotta get it started correctly. And you can feel it. Definitely feel it. Stick my wrench on there. The old one was tight in there. I'm gonna get this one tight, but not crazy I mean I'm not gonna lose my mind here it's just so just uh, uh, uh. there we go three s that that's the that's your torque okay three you go eh, eh, eh. and then you know it's good and then we'll put that back on the top push it down till it clicks and that's it I did it yeah Q 
Okay, let's put this cover back on. And let's put this cover back on. Boom. And now to finish this off, I'm gonna give her a nice hot towel bath. She needs it. Look at her now, all cleaned up and ready for business. Let's put her back to work. Mission accomplished. Another project here at the off-grid cabin, done. That was definitely much needed. I need that generator to be working and for it to last as long as possible. So keeping up with maintenance is gonna be super duper important. So I'm really glad I got that done. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one.